At SeaTac, they're calling a new screening technology both faster and more secure. King 5's Glenn Farley tonight shows you how your next trip through the line promises to be different. It's another busy morning at what had until recently been the fastest growing airport in the country, SeaTac, which is still growing, by the way. The goal for SeaTac and the TSA is to keep the wait down to 20 minutes or less. These should make your trip through security quicker. These are new automated screening lanes, and they should move your carry-on bags through about 30% faster. Anything in your pockets at all? It's called automated screening, and instead of having to wait on the person ahead of you, you can now legally jump the line, putting your stuff right into the system for the x-ray machine, and it all evolves around these higher tech trays. Yeah, this so is, this, this is what's called an RFID. So it, it identifies with, it's associated with the bin with the images that we have in our x-ray. Jeff Holgram is TSA's federal security director for Washington State. We, we have a better technology to make sure that we are linking the belongings to the passenger and the bin it's in. TSA claims it's also more secure. No longer do screeners have to stack bins up and manually move them back to the head of the line. The automation now does that out of sight, allowing more screeners to focus on the security part. Eventually, they'll be rolled out at all the main checkpoints. Now, just imagine summer, we're going to have a whole lot more people going through the airport. Going Lance through. Little is SeaTac's chief executive, and there are three main checkpoints. Todd, we're going to have it here before the summer. We may have some in place at checkpoint two, but I don't think we're going to get checkpoint three in before the summer. SeaTac is now the 14th airport in the country to use automated screening. It's also used in major airports overseas. Was it faster? Yes, yes. a lot faster. It was faster? Yes, a yeah. lot better. And it does that in part by kicking carry-ons that get flagged for extra scrutiny out of the main flow of traffic. I think I packed in like five minutes. So that might be part of the problem. As in this case, there's usually no issue, but hopefully fewer passengers are facing delays. At SeaTac, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.